Divide using long division. So the first thing you want to do is write the bottom piece on the outside. So it's 6x squared plus 2x plus 7. And then on the inside goes the top piece. So we have 6x cubed minus 4x squared plus 9x plus 5. Okay, so we start by asking, what do we multiply by 6x squared in order to get 6x cubed? So simply x. So what you do is you line it up with the x term. So you put it right above the 9x. Then you multiply. x times 6x squared is 6x cubed. Then x times 2x is 2x squared. And then x times 7 is 7x. Then I like to put a parentheses and then a big minus sign and then distribute and add. Some people switch the signs, that's, that's fine. Then you add, these cancel. Here we get negative 4 and a negative 2, it's negative 6x squared. 9x minus 7x is 2x. Then you bring down the 5. Then you start over. The question is, what do you multiply by 6x squared in order to get negative 6x squared? Well, the answer to that is negative 1. Then you take the negative 1 and you multiply it by each of these numbers over here. So negative 1 times 6x squared is negative 6x squared. Negative 1 times 2x is negative 2x. And negative 1 times 7 is negative 7. Parentheses, and then a minus sign, and then you add. These cancel. Here you get 2x plus 2x, so that's 4x. Then you get 5 plus 7, because negative and negative is positive. So 5 plus 7 is 12. So the final answer is the quotient, which is x minus 1, plus the remainder, which is 4x plus 12, over the divisor, so 6x squared plus 2x plus 7. So I'm going to go ahead and type it in. So it's the quotient, which is x minus 1. And it looks like the remainder is 4x plus 12. And they went ahead and wrote the divisor there for us. Here we go, moment of truth. Yay, got it right. So hope that made sense.